Hey there, this is Don the Idea Guy. It is day 18 of 31 Days of Ideas, and I'm back again to do a little micro brainstorm on a topic. And today's topic is going to be uh, how to find local sponsors for your charity fundraising. Uh, my wife, Happy, enjoys working for different causes, uh, worthwhile ones across the board, everything from St. Jude to Heart Association to some new one she discovered that gets school supplies for, uh, for kids who are in need. So among all of those uh, groups, they all have one thing in common, and that is they ask everybody to donate. And it's tough to continue to go back to individuals because all of us are asking all of our friends to donate to all of our causes. And then the same thing happens when our friends go to participate in a walk or a charity run, et cetera. So I have this theory that the same $50 keeps getting traded back and forth between friends and between charities. But uh, one of the things that I had suggested to uh, one of the nonprofits as a way to find corporate small business sponsors, because many of them have national sponsors that uh, support them all across the, the uh, U.S. for each of their individual events, is to find local small to medium-sized business sponsors. And rather than going into these businesses and asking them for uh, donations to, uh, to a charity, to, to a, an event where they're contributing uh, dollars to write off from a charity because businesses have limited or no budget for, for charitable contributions. But all of them have uh, some portion of their dollars that they set aside, typically, for marketing. And I think the, uh, the easy ones to spot for that are any of the companies that leave things on your door. So you go to work, you come back, and there's door hangers from restaurants, and there's uh, those paper mint, money saver, penny saver, uh, little glossy magazines that they shove in your mailbox uh, or toss on your doorstep. And it costs money for that. It costs money for them to run those flyers. It costs money to run the door hangers. It costs money to uh, take the ad space out inside of those sales magazines. It costs money uh, for a designer to come up with the ad. It costs money for the uh, for the company to redeem the coupons and those special offers are sending out there. It costs money to send people out to hang those things on people's doors or to pay for postage to mail them to the house. So if a nonprofit, if a charity is having an event where they're going to bring the general public there, why not go to these companies who are already paying to put their marketing materials on people's doors and tell them that, you know, all those people that are in the neighborhood that you're serving, we're going to have them all here at our event and you can hand out your stuff at the event. You can put it in their hands, maybe have a chance for a one-to-one -one conversation. I think that that would be worth those companies considering uh, stopping the ad that they're paying for for that month to come sponsor your event. So instead of looking at it as a charitable contribution, you know, a uh, purely outgoing money that you're doing for a good cause, but more for goodwill than good marketing, and have them look at it as a marketing investment, you know, the opportunity to be there and actually get an ROI on doing some good, I think you'll have a lot more people uh, interested in listening to a pitch, looking at a sponsorship proposal, and mostly uh, contributing to uh, a great cause. Uh, that's it for today. You can learn more about me at DonTheIdeaGuy.com. You can hire me out to do a solo brainstorm or a group presentation or keynote. You can get your whole company thinking more creatively. Uh, at the very least, I hope you hit subscribe on this video so that you'll get alerts the next time I post uh, another episode of 31 Days of Ideas. I'll be back here again tomorrow. Bye.